We kind of come full circle because we started with Whiskey in the Jar by the Dubliners and mm-hmm. we're finished with Whiskey in the Jar by Thin Lizzy. Right. So how did you come to take a famous Irish folk song and turn it into a rock song? Well, we were rehearsing one day in a pub in London. We were all living in London at this point. And uh, we were rehearsing this day and there wasn't, uh, there wasn't anything happening. You know, we obviously worked on, on original material. Um, and some days it just doesn't happen. And this particular day we just gave up. Uh, and we were going to go home and Philip said, no, we're staying, man, because we've paid for it. We've another hour to stay here. So uh, me and Brian just sat down and started reading Melody Maker or whatever. And Philip just put down his bass, picked up the six-string guitar and went up to the microphone and just started messing about. And he was singing all these silly songs, you know. Uh, and after about 10 minutes, he started singing Whiskey in the Jar uh, as another silly song. And at that point, me and Bram were sort of bored, so I picked up my guitar and started playing along with him. Um, and Bram started playing the drums. It was nothing like the record, but we were still playing along. And at that point, our manager walked in to the room and we immediately stopped playing. And he had an amplifier for me to try out, and we all went over to look at the new amplifier. And as we were looking at it, uh, Ted Carroll, who is one of our managers, he says, what was that song you were playing before I came in the door? Uh, he said, I was downstairs and I heard it, and I stood and listened. And Phil said, what? What are you talking about? We're only messing about Ted, you know? And Ted said, okay, but what was the song? whiskey in the jar right so he said have you got a b-side for the your first single that you're going to record for Decca in about six weeks time and we said yeah with a song called black boys black boys in the corner have you got a b-side no well why don't you try whiskey in the jar and we just we thought it was like crazy you know but like we left Ireland to get away from this music and now we're in London and he wants to record Whiskey in the Jar, you know, it's a bit weird. But anyway, we ended up in this in the studio and we recorded Black Boys in the Corner. And then we just stood and looked at each other, like, what are we going to do next for the B-side? And Ted was our, try Whiskey in the Jar, just try it. So myself and Philip went out uh, with two acoustic guitars. Um, and Philip sang it, I played acoustic guitar with him, and Bram was on the drums, and then we came in and listened to it, and they said, right, all right, what are you going to put on guitar? And I went out, and I just couldn't think of anything. It was such a bizarre track. Uh, It wasn't blues, it wasn't rock, uh, it, it was, I didn't know what to do. And they said, well, you know, We'll give you a rough cassette of this. Can you work at it at home? And it was the hardest song I've ever, ever tried to think of something original in my life. It took me about six weeks. And six it took, weeks. Yeah, mm. it took me. It took me about three weeks to get the intro because mm. I didn't know how to approach it. Mm. I mean, what do you do? The you know? Yeah, but you came up with the do, 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 do. yeah, but that, yeah, that was the riff. Yeah, but, but the intro was yeah, and that came about by Philip was playing a cassette one day in the car as we were coming home from a gig, and it was the um, Chieftains, who I love, and I love the sound of the Irish pipes, the Ellen oh, yeah. Ellen yeah. pipes, yeah. And I got this idea sitting in the car. Why don't I try and emulate the Irish pipes at the start rather than trying to do a guitar yeah because I couldn't think of anything on the guitar but the pipes I started pretending that I was playing Irish pipes as I was playing the guitar yeah and I came out like it's fantastic and then the riff took me about another month yeah and then the solo well once you get the riff it can lead on to the solo yeah yeah but it, it was it was the hardest piece of music I think I've ever worked yeah. on. Was Whiskey in the Jar. Yeah, well, it's uh, definitely a classic and one of my mm. favourites. But um, 
just a, a quick note about the the album cover because the the front is the Jim Fitzpatrick, the mm-hmm. uh, artist, which is a fantastic, uh, like a, sure. a comic book style. Sure. And on the back, it's got the shamrock with That's the three right. names of the band, That's which right. I thought was fantastic because for the first time, a, a band were fashionable. They were Irish and they were fashionable sure. and hip and sure. up to date, which meant a lot to me. Uh, 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 yes, indeed. But uh, but Philip had a bit of a problem with his photograph, though, didn't he? He did. Yes, he saw. He saw, uh, I remember the time. I remember our manager brought is in the cover and uh, he says this is your new album lads um, and Philip looked at it and he, he seen the cover and he went fabulous and he turned it round and he nearly had a <laughs> seizure you know because <laughs> Philip was very a very vain guy um, in all respect to him and very very into uh, pushing an image mm-hmm. and each photograph of Thin Lizzy was scrutinised basically before it was released, but this one wasn't. <laughs> and Philip said, "Ah, oh, Jesus, will you look?" He says, "How many photographs did they take at that session?" And they have to friggin' use this one. And I said, "What are you talking about?" He says, "Look." And I looked at it closely, and it was a, a sort of a, a screen that you put over a microphone to stop you getting shocks. Yeah. And it's black foam. Yeah. And it actually looked like a Mickey Mouse nose yeah. on Philip. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he just, he never forgave yeah, the guy yeah, for doing yeah, it, you know? Yeah, I, I love that story. Brilliant. Now, uh, we can't really say very much about the new album, the one that you're recording. Was it, it's called Exile. Uh, but you've re- recorded, how many tracks have you done now for Ten. us? Ten. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so I, I've been in the studio and I've listened while you've been recording them. I can mm. say that they are very, very intricate and very just very very different uh, there's quite a, a lot of different styles there it's quite complex but a great sound how you okay. put it together how it all builds up like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle it's, it's just yeah. amazing you're okay. doing everything yourself sure when will the album be out it's, it's supposedly scheduled for uh, I would say the end of October and um, it's definitely something for fans to look forward to without if I can give Andy Quinn a plug yeah, so what's his involvement in the project? Uh, Andy Quinn is involved completely. Um, I did a gig for Andy the uh, first time I met him last year uh, at a, uh, a sort of a little blues sort of gig and I was I was headlining and um, it, was in, uh, it was in Cheshire and that was the first night I met Andy and we started talking and I found out that he was a guitar player and he loved early Thin Lizzy and so on. And lo and behold, about four emails later he asked me would I be interested in recording a new album and he's, uh, he's just done the whole thing he's just incredible mm-hmm. and the recording studio is Edge Recording Studio That's in right, Cheshire yeah. not far from yeah. where we are now Wilmslow Old yeah. Edge and uh, the script have recorded there Plan B have recorded there and sure. quite a few others so sure. it's, a, it's a fantastic studio right out in the middle of nowhere and also Mark the engineer producer is excellent yeah Brian, he's really good yeah. hi Mark <laughs> <laughs> okay so <clears throat> we'll leave it at that for now so where can people find out information about the album uh, I would say it would be on, the, on my website the Eric Bell website and what's the website address run by Kiki uh, the website address that's a new one <laughs> www.ericbell.com well, yeah uh, well if you just look up if you just look up Google yeah and put in Eric Bell official website it'll yeah. all come up yeah and it's run by a guy called Kike, he's, he's Spanish. Kike, yeah, a Spanish yeah. guy, yeah. yeah. He's he, a fan as well. Oh, he's he a came big fan. He's, he's a, a big fan. fan. He's done a fantastic job on the website. Excellent. It looks amazing. Absolutely excellent. Okay, so if you'd like to introduce the, the last track then, so it's... And this, uh, this last track is one that I know a little bit <laughs> called Whiskey in the Jar, or Whiskey in the Jar, oh... <laughs> 